Montana's news leader. Good evening, I'm Jill Dowling. And I'm Dennis Bragg. A shocking development tonight in a decades-old murder case in Montana. Two men serving life sentences for the 1994 murder of a Helena area woman could soon be set free after new DNA evidence points to somebody else as the killer. And this new suspect is already in prison serving two life sentences for a double homicide at Deer Lodge and is the man who terrorized a Hamilton woman back in 1998. This is a story we've been working on for more than a year and we start our coverage with the new evidence that could set Paul Jenkins and Fred Lawrence free after more than 20 years in prison. A jury convicted the two for the murder of Donna Marr who was kidnapped and beaten to death outside a bar west of Helena. But in the past few years, the Montana Innocence Project reviewed the evidence and what it uncovered has shaken this case to its core. The new DNA test on crime scene evidence shows it belongs to a David Wade Nelson, a man already in prison for killing a Deer Lodge area mother and son two years ago and who had served time for a violent attack on a Hamilton woman in the late 1990s. It not only means two men in prison for two decades could go free, it also means that a family torn apart will finally be reunited with their father. Count one, deliberate homicide, accountability, guilty. Count two, aggravated kidnapping, guilty. Count this is video five, Crystal Combs guilty. has only seen David once. She was 15 years old when a jury convicted her dad, Paul Jenkins, of murder. I remember the doors shutting, everything being cold, and the first words out of their mouth was, I'd never see my daddy alive again. She and her siblings never believed their father was a killer, but living with a father behind bars was confusing. And I've went through times in my life in the last 23 years where I've tried to force myself to accept the reality of what my life was, but I never got to the point where I actually believed he was guilty. Donna Marr was closing up at the Jackson Creek Saloon in Montana City back in January of 1994. She was robbed, kidnapped and beaten to death with a crowbar. Her body found later that day. Prosecutors convinced the two juries the men were guilty. Both received two life sentences each. Paul Jenkins appealed his conviction several times but lost. Then in 2003, the Montana legislature allowed the convicted to petition for DNA testing. And that's when the Montana Innocence Project got involved in the case and got permission to conduct new forensic tests. Crystal got the news this fall. The DNA on some crime scene evidence did not match Fred Lawrence's or her father's, and that another possible suspect had emerged. It is possible those two men could go free after almost 24 years in prison. He's very excited. He's beside himself. He's not sure how to feel either. I think we're all confused and a little bit overwhelmed at this point. My emotions go from happy to sad to angry to confused, and that can all happen within 60 seconds. I can be smiling and then before the end of my sentence, I'll be crying because I don't understand. I just don't understand how all the opportunities was there to get the right person and my entire life was changed. Paul Jenkins has been in the prison infirmary in Lewistown. He lost both legs to diabetes, but his lawyer tells me he does plan to use his prosthetics to walk out. But of course, it will depend on what the judge decides to do with that motion to release. Paul Jenkins' lawyer, Thad Atkins, is working the case with the Montana Innocence Project. In a statement to us, he tells us Paul Jenkins and Fred Lawrence have spent more than 23 years in state custody for crimes they did not commit. We hope that the Attorney General's office will determine that the interests of justice outweigh defending these wrongful convictions and stipulate to Paul and Fred's release from prison. He also says the Montana Innocent Project deserves enormous credit for uncovering new evidence and bringing this story to light. Now the man